Go ahead and make fun of my pronunciation of that, by the way. I mean, habanero. <laughs> you know, I'm white. I'm white. What's going on beer lovers? Welcome to another episode. I'm Jeff. And I'm John. And today we're in Vista, California at Latitude 33. Now, we've heard a lot about this brewery. Not only have we tried some of their beers at beer festivals near our home, but on top of that, their beers are all over the place in Orange County. We've talked to a couple of these people, they've told us to come try their beers, and that's why we're here today. So without further ado, John, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's have some beer. Let's have some beer. guys so here's today's history lesson on latitude 33 this brewery was started by newlyweds mike and treasure ingram and the reason why it's called latitude 33 is it actually falls directly on the 33rd degree north parallel now the reason why we're visiting this brewery is because we've tried their beers before at several beer festivals and we absolutely love them i talked to keegan one of the employees here, he's usually at those festivals, and he said we had to come here and try it. Now, Mike and Treasure have created a fantastic environment here at Latitude 33. It's extremely dog friendly. In fact, there was a very happy dog uh, just inside as we were walking in, and uh, it feels more like home than I can imagine. But enough talk, let's get started drinking. Let's have some beer. All right, so here we are at Latitude 33, and our first beer of the day is Origin. And Origin is actually one of Latitude 33's pale ales, is what it is. All right, it's a 5.4% APV, and uh, let's, let's check it out and see what it's got. <clears throat> the pale ale of it, like, it looks almost amberish, so we're going to, I'm going to see what, what it actually tastes like. Definitely get some honey going on with this. Um, so a little honey, a little sweetness. It's probably one of the better pale ales I've actually had, uh, but all I really get is just a lot of honey. It's good, it's delicious. It's got some bitterness going on with the hops, um, but definitely the honey is, is sitting on my tongue pretty strong right now. Well guys, the first beer on my list is the reason why I'm here. This is a Blood Orange IPA. It's 7.2% and I'm not gonna lie, I've had this before. That's, again, that's the reason why I'm here today. I love this beer. I'm gonna go ahead and try it again and just tell you guys how it tastes. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Wow. All right, so. It's incredibly juicy. It's super citrusy. I mean, it tastes like you're drinking blood orange juice. And the best part is, is on the back end is where you get the hop bitterness and it mixes with a little bit of that pithiness from the blood orange. It melds beautifully. This is, in my eyes, if I'm looking for a citrusy IPA, this is exactly what I'm going for. This, oh my God, I could drink this all day. I'm kind of, I just started, but I'm kind of done. Like, I'll just drink this and I'll be happy. All right, my next beer is a breakfast stout. So it is an Imperial Oatmeal Stout, and we're looking at an APV of about 8.5%. So 
So I do enjoy my stouts. So let's check this out. See what we got. So definitely a like espresso taste uh, as well as smell. Uh, maybe even a little like uh, chocolate or cocoa nibs going on. Um, got the oatmeal on the finish. So this is actually a, a quality oatmeal stout. Um, it's absolutely delicious in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if I have any like negative feedback to it. So I enjoy stouts, but this is creamy. It's smooth. It's delicious. Uh, you get a nice, you know, like espresso chocolate feel, and then you get the oatmeal on the back end. It's amazing. Well, guys, next on the list is going to be Blonde Cartel. This is a 5.1% blonde ale, and even though it's not that blood orange IPA, it's okay. I'm going to judge this one because it's brand new. I've never tried it. Let's see how it compares, shall we? Cheers. Man, so here's the thing. This is a blonde ale. Blonde ales, for the most part, are pretty consistent. I mean, you're getting the typical flavor that you'd get out of a blonde ale. It's got nice floral notes, slightly biscuity, definitely bready, even a little doughy towards the back end. Um, you know what this reminds me a lot of? Anybody that lives in Orange County, if you've ever tried the 714 Blonde Ale from Bottle Logic, this has got a very similar flavor to it. This is something I would love to take in a can and bring it to the beach and just kick back, lay out in the sun, and just knock them back. <laughs> it's a good beer. All right, so the next one up is Vanilla Porter. It's a 6.5%. Uh, I love vanilla, so I am definitely excited about tasting this. You definitely get that vanilla bean smell going on. And that vanilla bean... It's robust, it's, it's, it's very flavorful. Um, yeah, they definitely nailed it on the vanilla bean. It's not overly powering. Uh, it's it's beautiful blend, beautiful balance going on with this. Uh, I love porters. I would definitely enjoy this maybe on a colder day than today, but uh, definitely come on down. It's delicious. The next beer, I've again, I've tried this before. Uh, if you guys have seen the Mango Vesa episode with my friend Trey, we've tried this. It's 7.2%. Uh, it's a mango IPA and it's got some habaneros in it. When we tried it out of the bottle, I didn't get a ton of heat. It wasn't until maybe a minute or two after you get a little bit of a tingle on the throat. I'm curious trying it straight from the tap. like. That Blood Orange IPA felt like a completely different beer in a way. It was just like an enhanced version. So let's see how this one pans out. Cheers. Hmm. All right, so this beer tastes very similar to the time that I had it. It's definitely got that sweet mango flavor on the front end. Um, it's not super bitter either. I mean, as an IPA, it's actually very, very mild. My only guess is that habanero kind of mellows it out on the back end. Go ahead and make fun of my pronunciation of that, by the way. I mean, habanero. <laughs> you know, I'm white. I'm white. Anyways, uh, I'm still not getting the heat from the habanero. Like, um, on the aroma itself, you definitely get that like peppery aroma. Not heat, not heat, but like the smell of like the meat of the peppers. Um, it's, it's good. This is a drinkable IPA, probably not my favorite IPA, uh, but you know what? Oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. So you get a little bit of heat on the throat, it just takes a minute to kick in. All in all, I, I would say this is a good beer. Uh, mango, habanero, I don't know how it mixes for me. To me, it's not my cup of tea. I prefer the blood orange still, but you know, it's still a drinkable IPA. 7.2%, I'd drink this again, hell yeah. Cheers. Okay, so the next one up, it's actually called Switchback. And Switchback is actually going to be a coconut porter. Uh, it's a limited um, brew right now, so 
Um, not something you might find on their website, but if you come down here, you can definitely taste it. Um, let's check it out. I love coconut just as much as I love vanilla and oatmeal, so I'm digging these porters, so let's check this out. I get a, a, a sweet taste. Um, not sure if they use fresh coconut. Maybe even toasted coconut, actually. That's kind of what I'm getting, a little toasty coconut uh, taste going on. Um, it's a six and a half percenter, so it's not very like strong as far as alcohol or booziness, but it definitely tastes like a nice toasted coconut uh, porter going on. So they, they've nailed it on the porters for sure. So I, I'm definitely enjoying the dark, robust deliciousness going on with a little sweet toasted on the side. So yeah, I, I'm enjoying this. Well guys, we have another IPA for you. This one's called Lifted Embargo. It's 7.1%. It's American style IPA and it's actually inspired by the Prohibition era. Now, this is another beer I haven't tried from Latitude 33. It's made with Citra and Mosaic hops, which are two of my favorite uh, hop varieties. So I know I'm probably gonna enjoy this. Uh, so without further ado, let's dig in. Cheers. You know, typically when I try an IPA, and it's got Citra, Mosaic, Galaxy, things like that. I'm just so, so used to them actually using these hops during like the dry hop phase or whirlpool phase. Really expels all those fruity tropical flavors, uh, citrusy flavors as well. This is actually using that Mosaic and Citra in the actual uh, bittering process. Now you're still getting a little bit of fruitiness in it, but it's just not as, not as pronounced. More than anything, I'm definitely just getting the bitterness of it. Um, there's actually a little bit on the nose and on the finish, a little bit of dankness too, which I've heard, I've heard that a mosaic will uh, create kind of that dank flavor as well. Citra as well, actually. Um, I don't know, I mean, I was expecting more out of this beer, to be honest with you. I thought this would be like my solid West Coast, dry hopped, favorite hop variety kind of beer. I wouldn't say this is my favorite. It's not bad, it's good, but definitely not my favorite of the day. All right, so what I have here in my hand is the Honey Hips. And this is actually a blonde ale, but interesting enough, this is 8.3%. 8.3% blonde ale. So. Uh, it's a little curious, so let's see what it's like. Definitely get a nice taste of honey. Little taste of clove on the back end. Um, it's it's sweet and delicious. Uh, I, it's not boozy, which I kind of would think from an 8.3 percent that it might be a little boozy. Um, but it's really not that boozy. It's actually quite delicious. Uh, if there was any booziness, they uh, counteracted it with some sweetness from the honey and the clove and whatever else they threw in that batch. So yeah, definitely a little, little maybe honey cracker going on with it. Um, definitely honey and clove though. That's probably the two primary tastes that I'm getting from this. And uh, it's pretty delicious. Not what I would expect from a blonde ale, but good. So cheers. Well guys, what better way to end our beer tasting today than to have me try a Saison. This one's called Syndicate. It's 5.3% and yeah, it's a Saison. So, <laughs> I mean, it's not a sour, so I mean, maybe it might work out for me, but the only way to know is to try it. Cheers. Mm. Oh. 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 Okay. So, viewers out there who watch a lot of episodes on our channel, you probably know I'm not a huge sour fan, not a ghost fan, or goze, however you want to say it, goose. Uh, not a Saison fan. 
That, that's just not, it's not my wheelhouse. However, this Syndicate Saison is fucking sexy. I don't know any other way to tell you. Um, on the nose, you get this delicious, like, uh, rhubarb aroma, slight berryness to it. And then you dig in and you get this great, like, herbal presence. Uh, I guess it's basil. Um, and then you get a little bit more of that fruity. There's, like, a light pear. There's that uh, rhubarb again. It's, uh, it's light. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It's drinkable. And again, it's just, it's so sexy. Like, this is a beer. If I was on a date and I had to sit there and drink, like, five beers and I want to look like a badass, this is my fucking James Bond beer right here. Syndicate Saison. I could drink this all the time. All the time. I'm kind of sad that summer's ending because this would be my go-to. And I'm glad that this is a completely different variety than I've ever tried before from Latitude 33. And it's spot on. And this is a style that typically I don't enjoy. So good job, Latitude 33. Well done. Well guys, we've tried all the beers here at Latitude 33. It's time to tell you which one our favorite was. So John, which one was your favorite? So after trying all the beers, um, I have to say like I did enjoy the porter, uh, well the two porters, and I also enjoyed the oatmeal stout, but in the end, I'd have to say I stick with what I liked uh, originally when I had this beer, and it's gonna have to be the Blood Orange IPA. That was definitely my favorite beer of today. So it's delicious, it smells wonderful, uh, I do enjoy it. What about you, Jeff? So, today was kind of surprising. I tried some beers I thought I would absolutely love, and I didn't love them. I tried some beers that I thought I'd absolutely hate, and I love them. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, the lifted embargo, it just was not my cup of tea. I was not getting the hop flavors out of that mosaic and citra that I typically just absolutely enjoy. Um, you know, it was definitely more bitter than I expected. Um, and then at the same time, that syndicate Saison, like, Saisons are not my wheelhouse, man. Like, it's not something I normally like, but. Damn, when I drank it, I felt like an undercover agent, like a James Bond dude. Like, I just felt super sexy drinking that beer. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know. Syndicate Saison, I mean, it, it worked out. But, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm sitting there, I'm thinking about what kind of beer would I ever drink again? What is going to be the one that I want to reach into my fridge and pull out from Latitude 33? It's kind of an easy answer. I mean, this place is famous for this beer, and it is the Blood Orange IPA. I mean, this is what made me fall in love with this brewery, this is what made me come to this brewery, and this is what is going to leave as my favorite beer. Uh, I don't know how to explain to you guys. Like, Blood Orange is kind of popular in the brewing process right now, especially in Southern California. There are a lot of breweries using Blood Orange. Latitude 33 does it to perfection. This beer is just fantastic. You get the flavor of the Blood Orange in the body, and then on the back end, you're getting that bitter hit from an IPA. It mixes with the pithiness of the Blood Orange, and then it just finishes just beautifully. All in all, I mean, th this is, this is, I don't know, it's like a dream beer. I love this beer. Yeah. I don't know any other way to put it. If you get a chance, you gotta come to Vista, California. You gotta try it for yourself. And the good news is, is that Latitude 33 actually, at least in Southern California, they actually distribute this beer in a lot of bottle shops. Total Wine, BevMo, your local bottle shop. Chances are you might be able to find this. I implore you, go buy a bottle, try it. Tell us what you think in the comments below, but I'm willing to guarantee I already know the answer. Other than that, I think John and I are gonna just sit here and enjoy this beer, and uh, then we're gonna head home. Sounds good. See ya. Well guys, that's gonna do it here at Latitude 33 Brewing. I'm so happy that after trying their beers, we finally made it to their brewery. And we got to try everything that they had. And if you enjoy this episode of Let's Have Some Beer, 
please like, share, and subscribe, and leave any comments down below. Maybe there's a brewery that we haven't tried in our area that you'll let us know of. Or maybe a brew that we haven't tried in our area, please let us know of. Or let us know if you can send us some beer. <laughs> so Yes, send us some beer. Please send <laughs> us some beer. We love beer. Beer yes. is good. Yeah, 90% of our fridge is beer. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching this episode. We really appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time on Let's Have Some Beer. Cheers. Cheers.